Okay, so we're back, and in this section right here, we're going to start talking about creating objects. <clears throat> what do you think, Terry? Where should we start at? Uh, probably the Create Objects button. The create Objects button? <laughs> the Create the Objects tab by the monitor. Okay, so the you're saying right tab. here. Yes, that, that thing, yes. Okay, so uh, in creating objects, first I'd like to go ahead and point out that Terry's absolutely correct. This is one of two different places that we can do it from. Actually, one of three different places. Uh, you're crazy! Believe it or not, it's true. No way. Absolutely. We have the create command panel right here, which gives us the ability to create all sorts of things. Yep. We can come up to create on the menu and come down and create stuff from in here. Uh -huh. We can also come across to objects. There's all sorts of objects that we can create in here. Shapes, compounds, lights, cameras, particles, etc. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So we do have a bunch of different places that we can create from. But I guess what I'll do is I'll keep all of my focus over here in the create command panel since that's you're where right. I work. I mean it is it is the pretty you know, pretty much standard for everybody that's been using Max for quite some time. And for all the newbies out there, you know, they kinda get a hang of it from right here, they can go ahead and move on to the other areas such as up here and on the menu bar as well. I don't ever use those. So okay, <laughs> as I mentioned earlier in the UI section we've you don't got use much. the <laughs> Yeah, he does. Okay, I, I do. Everything you do, I don't use that. I don't use that. I don't. I don't use that either. Because I know shortcuts. You know what? I don't even use 3D Studio oh. Max. <laughs> I have a mind meld with my computer. It does my thing. So, <laughs> so here we are on the Create Command Panel. And as I mentioned earlier in the UI section, up underneath it, you'll see that we've got all of these different categories of things that we can create. Geometry is activated by default. Okay, Up underneath each of these different categories, we have a subcategory or a sub-level of that type of object that can be created. So here we're creating geometry. Right now it's set to standard primitives, which are things like a box, a sphere, a cylinder, just your standard primitives. Now but I'm seeing, wait a minute, real yeah, quick, just yeah. I want to interrupt you. Sphere and geosphere, what's the total difference between you that? You tell me. Watch this. Okay, sphere. Right. Geosphere. Now... Let's think about it's something. It's the biodome. All right. Now, I want you to – let's go ahead and clear that, and let's go ahead and do this. And let's go ahead and do this, this, and let's also do that. So we get these guys up. Yeah, you see? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what we get for demoing <coughs> stuff earlier. Yeah. All right. So what did I hear about triangles back there? It was tessellated in triangles. Oh, done in triangles. Very good. So right here, we definitely have – a polar point, right? Right. A place where it all comes together from on both sides. What would be that? What would be that spot over here on this geosphere? There wouldn't be one. Right there. there is no point. Right <laughs> where? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I saw it. Right. <laughs> all right. So here we've created, you know, a sphere and a geosphere. Uh huh. All right. So uh, let's uh, let's just <coughs> keep looking around at the, some of the things we can create. So standard primitives. Let's go ahead and click extended primitives. Okay. We've got a lot of extra things in here that we can create. Yeah, we've got compound objects. Okay, we're not going to get any of that now. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> particle systems, uh, patch grids, nerve surfaces, and dynamic <coughs> objects. Okay, so a few interesting things in there. And then if we wanted to switch over, let's say we were going to create some sort of shape or something. You know, we could come over here to shapes, start drawing out lines. You know, it's pretty simple. That's pretty basic. You like that little line? Yeah, it's very nice. Too. Okay, but if you need a circle. <coughs> Uh -huh. Now you've got yeah. a circle. You like that? Very good. Very okay, good. now we're looking at splines right now. We can also drop down and create NURBS curves as well, where we have a point curve and a CV curve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, we'll switch back. Our lights, we can create several different types of lights. So if we wanted to go ahead and throw a lo omni light in the scene, Very and cool. let's go ahead and switch over to our move tool and move it up and go ahead and apply a little bit of illumination to the geometry that's in there. Uh, we can come over here to cameras. We've got two different types of cameras, which... We'll be getting into talking about those in later CDs in detail, but we'll go ahead and come in here and just drag out a quick target. What? I just realized what you created. That was very nice. A little smiley face? Yeah, a smiley and face. A nose? Isn't that cute? Oh, isn't it, though? Now let's just look through the camera by pressing C. And now that we're looking through the camera, we can go ahead and just, let's see, move on over a little bit, and let's dolly back. So you're actually trucking <laughs> the camera around when you do that. Yeah. Now we'll just orbit. And there's your little smiley face. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> That's uh, scary. Okay, you know. So uh, actually, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just. You, know. <laughs> you can't tell you didn't mean to do that. It's so lifelike. <laughs> I really didn't mean to do that. Okay, over here on helpers, we've got 
Dummy objects, which are something that you're going to use a lot of when you start getting a little bit more advanced with yeah. Studio Max. You start creating character rigs and all. Dummy objects are fantastic. They're a null type object that does not render. Okay, and things can be parented to them. You can you know relocate their pivot points, etc. It's just it's great. It's just an Dummy object. Exactly. <laughs> it just doesn't render. It's, re- it's uh, basically shown as a box, okay? Mm-hmm. But, you know, it doesn't render. Uh, but then they came along and they added the point helper, which is also just basically a non renderable dummy. So okay? that's pretty much a dummy. It's just not cubed. So, yeah. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> just, uh, just, that, just that. So when we get into uh, some of the character rigging CDs <clears throat> a little bit later on, we're going to spend a lot of time with both dummies. And with point helpers. Yeah, I use those but, things like I mean, all we've the got time. things like protractors, our, our own grid, a measuring tape, a compass. How do you like that? <sighs> I mean, there's quite a few things. I mean, uh, I just like. You don't get lost. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were like, uh-uh, you're missing something here. Okay. Like, you don't even know Max, boy. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if you missed something. Space warps and space warps, you know, we get different things that we can apply to particle systems, etc., like motors, vortex, path, follow, displace, wind. Uh, there's a bunch of different things and a bunch of different categories, deflectors for oh, deflecting yeah. particles, etc. Uh, a lot of different things that we can do in there. And then finally over here we've got our systems, which is where which is where we'll find our bones for doing like a skeletal structure for a character. Uh, sunlight, you can actually put a sunlight system in there, hmm. which which is really cool because with sun you get uh, you can the azimuth, the altitude, what hour, month, day. It'll Whoa. basically <laughs> even <laughs> even wow. get location. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's really fun to play so, with. Uh, <laughs> you where know. are we? We are. <laughs> I don't even want to click. Oh my For all those out there, we're somewhere right over here. Unfortunately. And so, there you go. And the let me, uh, you used let me, the, yeah. what, what happened? What was wrong with that? What do you think is wrong with that? I think it's because you used that in the perspective viewport. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. There. Put I'm the time sure. in there. What time you want, man? Well, and get out of your right camera now. view. You're driving what me nuts. Get the camera view. Good job. Thank there. you. Is that, is <laughs> better? Yes. Okay, okay. Much. So, we'll just take that, do that, and we can rotate around it. And our sun is now it's pointing, pointing oh. straight up into the sky. <laughs> Why? Because you re- you did it in the in the in, <laughs> how, in? <laughs> all right. So why can't I move it? Because did you lock it. Did I lock it? I'm asking if you locked it. If I locked it, God. Do you think it's because I locked it? I don't know. That's not locked. <laughs> <clears throat> do 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 do. Is that gonna give us control? No. <laughs> I got no clue, yeah, man. No, I have nothing. I press the buttons and it works sometimes. <laughs> Watch this. Let me come back in here. Let's go ahead and apply sunlight in the top view. Basically, oh, duh. Basically, we'll just drag it out like such. Yeah. And then we'll go ahead and position it in there the way we want. So let's get it about like such. Actually, why is it not wanting to rotate around it at all? That's entertaining. <laughs> We're getting off track, man. <laughs> we stop playing with the Why sun. Why won't the sun work? Because we can you rotate have to, the sun. You have to select the compass. We can turn it around so that it lights everything like that. <laughs> we can move that there. There, how's that? That's fine. Yeah, okay. Um, right, okay. Yeah, We're getting off the subject. <laughs> you can see how often I play with sunlight. Oh, right? yeah. It's like, woo. Uh, but the cool thing is, the bottom line is, you can actually come in here and you can actually animate hours, minutes, days. If you did some sort of time lapse. <laughs> is that what time? Yeah, it is 153 in the morning. Time is not out. <laughs> <laughs> you could do time lapse animation. No wonder. <laughs> 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 the sun's oh, below you. Uh, That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, uh, for, for those Dude, we need some sleep, man. On, it is now almost 2 o'clock in the morning. So that's why the sun we would not move. It got the time from the bottom. Yeah. And, uh, got the time from your computer. That's just beautiful. Yeah, that is awesome. <laughs> Nice going to street. Cool. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that is on the other side. that's awesome. That the was. sun is on the other side of the earth. That is why we cannot see it. And we just cheated it and rotated it. <laughs> so let's put the sun back on the right. <laughs> so, that's just great. So let's right click. 
Let's go back through all of our undoes. Just go all the way back, man. Just <laughs> so <laughs> technically, then it worked. <laughs> 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 that's the coolest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad just, someone figured it out. So uh, that's just funny. All right, so let's go ahead and get off the sun anyway. Yes, because we'll be in that for hours. Yeah, yeah. So back <laughs> over here on Create. So anyways, these are some Make of our... Make it 345. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so these are, these are our major categories. Now what I'd like to do is go ahead and take a second and come into file. Let's reset it new. And now let's just start talking about... You know, now we've given this grand tour. Let's talk about basic object creation, Okay. I've never worked with 3ds Max before. I'm now looking at a fresh UI screen. What do I do? To let's say you create want an to object? build something. Yeah, let's start out with you want to build a sphere. Okay. Okay. So again, we're on the create panel over here. Geometry, standard primitives. We come down to sphere. We click it to activate our tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, if we drag down, we've got a bunch of different things that we can come in here and predefine ourselves, such as the radius, the segments, etc. We also have keyboard entry items, such as its location and X, Y, and Z and radius, and we could just hit create. Or we could simply come in here, click, drag, and while holding the left mouse button down, I'm just dragging out to determine my size. And once I'm happy with it, I'll simply let go of the left mouse button. Now, I'll go ahead and drag this back up so we can see a couple of things. One. <coughs> Right now, this tool is still active, right? Right, right. Which means if I'm not paying attention, what's going to happen if I go if to click on something else thinking I'm going to select it? If you click on trying to select that object again, you will create another sphere. So, oh, that's just not good. Exactly. Right? So what I just did, let's go ahead and repeat the whole process. Click, drag out a sphere. Now I'm just going to simply right-click to turn off that tool. Exactly. Okay? So now I'm free to go and select other places. And do whatever you want. Okay. So that's one thing really important to point out. The next thing that's important to point out, we just created this new object. As Terry mentioned in one of our earlier lessons, it is extremely critical to always do what to your objects, Kristen? Huh? <laughs> Name it. <laughs> Name it. <laughs> she she right. said it. Name it, oh, okay. yes. Yeah. So over here we could call this ball if this was going to be a ball. I did not expect okay. you to call me. <laughs> I did not expect for a funny answer. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I got it right. But you did get, you it, did right. get it right. Absolutely. Um, Terry, get that other cue card out for her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we've named our object by simply coming over here and type the object name in. Okay? Correct. Now, let me show you a couple of things. Now, since we turned Sphere off over here, we don't have all those options down here no more, do we? Right. So what if you wanted to go in there and change the size of your sphere? So, like, just scale it up? You or could. Or actually, like, go back to my radius and adjust my radius. Exactly. That's what I meant. Okay. If you need to go back and make any adjustments to objects that you've already created, okay, you can't do it from right here on the Create panel no more. That's you right. You need to come over to the Modify panel because you are modifying, modifying the, object. the object. Absolutely. Modify panel. Now, we're going to get into the modifier stack in detail a little bit later that on. That gets really fun. But right now, let's just go ahead and kind of squeeze this up a little bit. So here are the parameters that we had available that we saw a second ago when we actually activated the <coughs> Sphere Create tool. Right. So let's come down here. There's our radius. And you can see as we change our radius, it is definitely changing the radius of our sphere. We can change our number of segments, make it less dense or more dense. Okay. You know, is it going to be smooth or faceted, as you can see there? Okay, and we'll make it back smooth. You know, we can control the hemisphere of it. Okay, so a bunch of different things that we can control. What is it, Kristen? What you think? It's just so easy. <laughs> it is easy, isn't it? <laughs> yes. You like that. So uh, <laughs> we can turn slice on if we wanted to do slicing with it. Make a Pac-Man. And so, yes, we could make a Pac-Man if you'd like. And it's cool because you can animate that. And it's like, walk, walk, walk. It's like you look at the top view. Walk, walk, walk like yeah. that. Oh, yeah. and, <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty sad. So, no, I'm not. I'm, hey, you better watch out, boy. Amateur. There. <laughs> so, yellow. Now we have yellow. dink. Nah. 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 Not, dink. not cream. <laughs> yellow. What do you want to, is that, that or we want to go add our own colors? That'll do, man. Gonna get us off track again. It's not even the right yellow. That's it. I'm slapping people. We'll be back in a minute, ladies <laughs> yeah. and gentlemen. Okay, so uh, now that we have created an object and we've come back into the modify panel and actually adjusted some of its parameters, 
Let's go ahead and come back over here. You've seen that we can come in and change our color of the object by simply clicking on the little color swatch right there. Right. We saw earlier, as Terry had pointed out, that we could check or uncheck the assign random colors. And we can assign our own colors in here, or we can also come in and do our own custom colors if we if we really wanted to do our own custom colors. Okay? And so that should have placed it back right. there. Yep. It did. So we go ahead and close this out and say, okay, there's your super bright. There we go. Yeah. That's Pac-Man. Okie doke. Now, pretty easy so far, Terry? Oh, yeah. All right. So creating objects. What else should we know? So we, we see how we can create them. I guess I need to be aware of this. This is pretty important. Creating the sphere was simply a one-click drag operation, right? right? In other words, I'm going to reset just to clear things. No, we don't want to save. Yes, we do really want to reset. Sphere, one-click, hold mouse button, and drag. There's my sphere. Done. Let's go ahead and delete that. Okay. Some of these things require more than one click. Let's, let's take a look at the box. So about that. That's click, true. click on the box. First thing I'm going to do is as I click and I'm holding the left mouse button down and I'm dragging, I'm basically determining the width of this thing and the depth of it, right? Right. And then after I let go of my mouse button, I'm not done with the operation yet. So if you come in here and right click thinking you're done and you're going to deactivate your box tool, well, you're not. You forgot the height. You're just going to, that's right, you forgot the height. So you're just going to cancel the box that you've created so far. So let's do this again. Go ahead and come up over here, hold left mouse button down, I'm dragging out done let left mouse button go now I don't have no mouse button pushed down but as I push my mouse forwards and backwards okay you'll see that I'm now determining the height so get it to the height that I'd like click okay now I'm done there is no other anything else for me to do right right it's like right click right click okay and you're good to go and there you go okay does this make sense yeah yes is it the same for a like lot. a cylinder or whatever? for a cylinder let's take a look at a cylinder so we'll click cylinder, we'll come over here, and we'll just drag out. Right now we're determining our radius. Then we'll let go, and you can see now we're determining our height, and that's it for that. And let's go ahead and take a look at another one. Click on cone. So with cone, now this is my first click. Hold the mouse button down. I'm determining my base size or radius 1. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let go of the mouse button and push it up. Now I'm determining the height. Now watch this. I'll click one time. Now I'll start pulling my mouse down oh, toward wow. me or away, and now I'm determining radius 2. Okay? Right. So it doesn't have to That's necessarily cool. be a cone that looks like this. It could look like that, and or even worse. So we can go ahead and come in here and click. That's interesting because in some of the compound objects mm -hmm. that you can create, for instance, a chamfer box, mm -hmm. chamfer, chamfer, whatever. Let's take a look at that thing. Well, let's go ahead and just reset it real quick. So to get to that, Terry, it's an extended primitive, right? Right. So you would create. Create. Geometry. Geometry, then drop down and go to extended perimeters. Perimeters? Perimeters. <laughs> perimeters. <laughs> Primitives. Okay. And go to your chamfer box. Okay. So and how does this thing work? It creates just, just like a cube. So we click out like a box. Uh-huh. And then you we click the height. Drag it up like that. Right. And click then once. And now you're still not done because you're trying to determine the edge. So as I push my mouse up and down. Right. You're I determining the edges that are around yeah, the right. edges of the boxes. So I'm determining the bevel that's going to be on this chamfer. <laughs> what? That is not fair. <laughs> so so just, easy. So we'll just push it down like such. And click. And, click. and now we're done. Like right? one, two, three. <laughs> so let's go ahead and come in here e. and go full size. Yeah. You hit and E. There you go. Back out. Now and if you go to the modify panel. Over here to the modify panel. Right. And start playing with your fillets. Watch this. Our fillets. Uh -huh. Fillets. 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 Uh, fillets. Let us Lay this poor little chapter box <laughs> as we are starving. Sorry, man, I got some I fish on my mind. You should <laughs> talk about Doritos. So we can go ahead and come in here and actually start smoothing that up. There you go. Pretty. So you like that, huh? Yes. Can so yeah. <laughs> and we can come in here. You can and animate start. it also. And, well, let's not do this. Let's adjust yeah. our. Let's come up here and adjust this here. We can adjust our fillet now afterwards. So we can tighten it up. There you go. Or make it real big if we'd like. Maybe adjust our height. Yeah. There you go. It's a Jolly Rancher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no bathroom allowed. You must now learn. <laughs> okay, so uh, pretty interesting. We see how we can come in and adjust these different parameters. Yeah, just start playing with all the things, all the parameters that are under the uh, objects, mm -hmm. and you'll be just be surprised with some of the stuff you can create just with basics. Absolutely. You don't even need to know extended modeling to make some cool stuff. No, not at all. I mean, we could, well. Like, I could turn that thing into some 
really cool stuff. Could you? Yes, it's I could. Awesome box, man. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like she said, Jolly Ranger. Oh man, it's I could tear that up. Stool. So I guess uh, uh, to quickly recap, basically what we're looking at from the create panel, okay, right here over on the command panel itself. Come down and select what it is you're interested in creating. For those of you that are new to 3ds Max, I advise you to come in here and start out at first, just playing around with geometry. You know, come down here, standard primitive, start building some stuff. See what you can build with just these guys before you start worrying about more complex modeling like a human head. Yeah, or yeah a just start or. small, guys. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Everybody does. Remember, as you start naming or as you start building objects, name your Very objects. important, because press H real quick. Okay, I shall press H for you. At <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help. All that. right, you, uh, now we just now renamed see, it H. <laughs> it is now named H. That's what you get for being funny. There is H. There you go. See, if you have many, many objects in this in the scene, for instance, if you're trying to build a face out of spheres and stuff, you will have, you know, Sphero one, Sphero two, Sphero three, Sphero four. Interesting thing to point out. Terry uh, from people who come from other applications, most other applications don't allow spaces in their names. Oh, really? Wow. Didn't know that, did you? No, because I always use Max. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. You guys should know that. You can't yeah, put so spaces. Yeah, so it's underscore. Well, like, that's like underscores you can are put together. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, that's bogus. But, uh, but in inside some, a... In some sucks for you, you huh? Put spaces, but it'll automatically put an underscore in. Right. But if we come in here, I mean, we start building a few things. <clears throat> and let's move that up just so we can see it and move it over and move it over here. There we go. And we call this one My Cute Ball. Now if we come oh. over here... Open this up. You can see we've got Terry's box and my cute ball. I mean, it's just you know. Yeah, it's that simple. Okay, you can easily whatever. you can yeah. easily select. <laughs> got that I'm fish sorry. I can borrow? <laughs> okay, so uh, you get the idea, right? Yeah. So I guess those are some important things to keep in mind. So now you've seen uh, how we can create some basic objects. So I advise you to go give it a try. Oh, yeah. So uh, any questions? Any questions from you guys? No. Um. Seems good. Okay. It doesn't really okay. have anything to do with what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> what? But, okay, well, like, you can <laughs> use... <laughs> no, well, it kind of does, but not with, like, the creating objects. Like, you can put spaces in the names and everything, yeah. but you can't in Maya. Does that have to do with, like, the programming? Like, when you're programming? Like, the way you type it? Or that's a whole is it just because... whole other CD right there. See? <laughs> well, I know. That's why I said it doesn't really have anything to do with... You have ships, right? You got the <laughs> Titanic... <laughs> <laughs> and you got the Enterprise. They're just totally different. They are, aren't yes. they? I mean, yes. day and night. Those are different too. They're these are. It's just they're designed radically different. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I, I just wanted a deeper explanation. Uh, <laughs> is that deep enough? It's um, fine. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. So with that, th uh, that'll go ahead and conclude this section of just creating basic objects.